life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Declaration of Independence proclaims God-given rights, and we intend to protect them. Working with people like you for over 50 years, preserving freedom and building a better tomorrow, safeguarding the Constitution by limiting government power. We are restoring liberties, educating voters, and leading the freedom movement. Join with us. United, we will defend our rights. We are all Americans. We are the John Birch Society. Hello, I'm Art Thompson, CEO of the John Birch Society. We at the Society believe in the foundation our forefathers built and are dedicated to restoring it. With the motivation to restore the Constitution, our members continue in this unending battle. Membership is the key. I became a member of the John Birch Society because I wanted to work with like-minded people and dedicated patriots. My religious faith, my love of family, my love of country became more poignant in my life. It's the only organization that is so well founded for many years to have field staff, to have research abilities, to have knowledge, to have a background, to be able to get the message out. You're not going to get this educational material anywhere else. We're focused on one thing and that's making the American people become educated. After my faith and my family, the John Birch Society is the most important thing in my life. It's an avenue, I think, toward the salvation of our country. It gives me a chance to make a difference. There was a plan for victory that I could be involved in, and I'm interested in victory. The John Birch Society has sustained many victories over the years, large and small, national and local. These victories have been made possible through members and staff working together and implementing the same strategy, continually producing positive and effective results. If you had a concerted effort of people all across the country working on the same issues at the same time, that the effectiveness could be multiplied by a huge factor. One of the great things about the John Birch Society is the long history of tremendous victories. Uh, in Ohio, uh, very recently, we've had a tremendous victory uh, on the issue of the Article 5 Constitutional Convention. But we were able to uh, raise the level of awareness to stop the CONCON and the Oklahoma Legislature, which I proudly voted to remove us from the Constitutional Convention. We work as a team. It's not one individual person. We work together with other chapters in the state to get five counties to opt out of Agenda 21. When I'm done in and out flyers or doing or any type of birch action, I feel like, well, I, I did, you know, something. Fighting the, uh, the new world order, especially through the Trans-Texas Corridor, uh, has just been the joy of my life. On a whole, the two committees that have seemed to be the most effective have been the Support Your Local Police and the movement to get out of the United Nations. And when we learned all of this information from the John Birch Society, we feel obligated to go out and tell people. It's like seeing a house on fire. You just feel an urge about yeah. knocking the doors. Everybody out. <laughs> Here at the John Birch Society, we look at the big picture and formulate our action programs to protect the founding principles of America. Society members across the country work on these projects, along with many others in their local areas, through their chapters. Members are placed in one of three chapters, the local chapter, the home chapter, or the business and professional chapter. Of these, the local chapter is the most effective. If you want to get anything done and you want to do it right, you really can't do it by yourself. You need a team effort. In our chapter, uh, we have uh, regular meetings uh, where we sit down and we talk about the various different action items that we can choose. It's important that we have fellowship with like-minded believers and then we can come together and strategize and then work together on different issues. I think it helps to have a, a group around you that you can interact with and a lot of times they have some insights that you might not even thought yet. Whatever the campaign is, we stay effective by having a, um, a situation where we all work on the same pro project together. But really, the, the friends that you make 
uh, going forward in this far and away uh, is uh, the most enjoyable part. Uh, I think there's no possible way uh, that uh, you could do this unless you're having fun and quite frankly uh, if you're not having fun birching you're just not doing it right. Another type of chapter is the home chapter. These are individuals that do not have enough existing members in their surrounding area to create a local chapter or are unable to be part of a local chapter because of other circumstances. We have found these individuals to be very effective as well. We have found now with people in the home chapter, if they do believe in exercising the responsibilities of citizenship, that because of the tools that are available through the internet, the tools that are available from jbs.org, that they as individuals can have a tremendous influence being in a home chapter means that for whatever reason you're not able to be in an active chapter and that has happened in my life for a lot of reasons. The way you stay effective I believe is to constantly read your bulletin, read the New American. When projects are suggested do to the best of your ability go along with those projects as an individual. The John Birch Society makes it really easy to educate yourself on issues. All you have to do is click on their website and you can read an article online. And get any subject matter that they might be interested in relative to our program and be able to reach a much broader audience on an individual basis. There's so much to learn. I mean, in life to begin with, but the John Birch Society just covers all the topics. The last type of chapter is the business and professional chapter. It consists of business leaders that have influence in their communities. As they are educated on the issues, they're able to use their influence on a wide range of people and make local progress on action projects. BMP stands for Business and Professional Chapter of the John Birch Society. And the benefits of that is a businessmen um, are very concerned about what's going on locally and state and federal. And they do come to those chapter meetings to learn more about what's affecting their businesses. Certain chapters that are businessmen chapters, that are local home chapters. Uh, we have chapters that are uh, every walk of life from blue collar, white collar, little old ladies in tennis shoes and grandmothers that are out there very effectively not only handing out literature but creating an awareness of understanding to our communities to I guess stay in the fight. There's a lot going on and we all need to to work to make sure the information gets out and more people are aware and concerned. As you can see, the success of the society is largely due to the chapters and how members work together. What produces results is the synergy of many people working together on the same thing, at the same time, focused on the same solution, all coordinated together, all across the country, that makes the difference. No matter what type of chapter you are part of, the responsibility of a member remains the same. First, to improve one's knowledge with understanding and skill. Then to inform, develop, and recruit others. Finally, to carry out the action projects the leaders of the society have put in place. All three are very important. In order to be able to increase the size of the chapters in your area, and carry out the action projects, one must be informed. This can be done with the many tools the John Birch Society has to offer. One of the great uh, aspects of the John Birch Society is being able to work in concerted uh, action efforts uh, with people all around the country. So every month uh, the, the John Birch Society puts out a bulletin and, and lets you know, hey, here are the key things that as a society uh, we can work on nationwide together. It keeps you current and it points out the important things. The beginning is always an in-depth article, uh, very thoughtful, well researched, uh, that gets me a little further up on the hillside so I see a larger, larger picture of things. In our fight to restore liberty, it can oftentimes feel lonely, but uh, getting the bulletin, seeing the actions that people around the country are taking, then gives you a, a great sense uh, of uh, uh, you know, camaraderie, uh, of action, of success. It's uplifting. 
Uh, and it, it's very exciting to know that you're part of a team nationwide uh, that is focused on the same goals. JBS.org, I use that all the time. I refer other people to it that aren't even members. They find it very useful as well. The online services are second to none. We get a tremendous amount of uh, opportunities to read uh, the daily updates or weekly updates, however often they, they are available. Specifically, the legislative action I find that very, very useful. Once you become educated with birch material, you tend to view the world in a different light. You tend to view your neighbors in a different light. You tend to view the news and politics in a different light. As members, the things that we need to do is number one, educate ourselves. Number two, we need to go out and educate other people. That could be by giving literature out, that could be by talking to them, um, pointing them to our website. I, the best place I like to point someone would be to the New American Magazine online. The New American is probably one of the most uh, well-researched uh, magazines and publications, of publishers, writers, authors. They're very current and they're always right. To me, the most important thing is I never have to apologize for something I've said because it comes from a source that I trust completely. I certainly enjoy uh, all the books that the, the John Birch Society has recommended, like The Shadows of Power. I've used that and then dare call it Conspiracy. If you're not a reader, what you can do is you can get the DVDs. They've got DVDs on about every different subject uh, that matters to the John Birch Society and to America as a whole. We have taken the Society's overview of America, the DVD that's been seen by literally millions of people, and we pay, play it on four or five different end caps in our store. JBS literature is really great because it helps me educate people that are out in the public who really don't understand what's going on. Our citizens are not educated as to the, the foundation of our republic. Uh, and they don't even understand how far we've moved from our heritage of liberty. So the John Birch Society uh, is, uh, understands this problem, provides the materials, the training, and the education. So first, citizens can do some homework and understand what our government is supposed to be. And then they take the next step of showing, okay, how we've moved off of that anchor you cannot passively get truth anymore. Maybe a couple of hundred years ago you could. Today you have to actively go out and seek it out. And what is the best instrumentality to use to seek it out? And that's the John Birch Society. Being the best informed person in your neighborhood does not mean much unless there's action behind it. We have to inform others and then involve them. I have a responsibility, just as you do, to leave our country to our children and grandchildren. Men and women have died to give and preserve freedom for us. We have no less a responsibility, but we can do it with less sacrifice. It just takes a little time and effort working with others in your area. How much is your family and country worth to you? Getting involved is not a matter of age or position. It is a matter of doing what is right. The idea of letting someone else take care of it no longer works. I realized that the choice was up to me, and I made it. Now, the choice is up to you. As an American, I have an obligation to make sure that those who come after me are able to live in a country that was at least as good as I had, if not far better. I want to leave a legacy of what the Founding Fathers envisioned for us, freedom, freedom to choose, freedom to succeed, freedom to fail. America means freedom. It means liberty as God intended it for us. The reason you want to join the John Birch Society is because you want to be around the people that are going to make a difference to bring America back to its foundations. We need to get to work and pay attention to things that are important. My husband and I have met people that are just the most wonderful people you would ever know and the John Birch Society has enriched our lives. We have the books, the literature, the videos that you need to become educated right away 
and the leadership that I think is the quickest way to save the Republic is the John Birch Society. If you really are serious about wanting to see America remain free and independent, I can think of no greater vehicle than the John Birch Society because you'll get a real chance to really practice individual responsibility that brings about the effort to keep this country free. And uh, all I can say is please come and join us.